Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya. These are the programs we're all used to. But have you heard of Clara.io? Das 3D, Lightwave, Animator, me neither. But I saw this video by a YouTuber called Elliot and I thought that seemed like a fun idea to do for 3D programs. <clears throat> no, I'm a Blender user. And what I can tell you is that every time I've tried a different 3D software, it feels like when you need to drive your friend's car for the first time. You get in the driver's seat, you put on the seat belt, but then how do you turn it on? How do you put it in drive? The mirrors are all wrong and the seat is too high. It doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna try every single 3D software I can get my sweaty hands on. And I'm gonna see, first of all, which one is the best. And secondly, can I even make anything with it? 3D Coat is a modern 3D modeling and rendering software with a bunch of cool features like tree leaf generator, auto UV mapping, multi-level resolution. The software costs 379 euros but you get a 30 day trial. I thought that the most fitting model to make in each of these programs would be the famous Blender Guru Donut. So that was what I was going to try and create. The software has a lot of features and seem pretty capable but going from Blender the UI was not very intuitive and even the most basic basic things took ages to figure out. How do I remove this? Can I just delete? No. Whatever, just, I'll keep you over there. I even gave up at one point and tried to follow one of the video tutorials they provide. The image will be added relative to the video. After the settings, you can make sure that the settings- I don't need a tutorial. I settled on trying to sculpt the shape of the donut, which actually was quite much easier than most things. For the material, they had some presets you can use, but I could not figure out how to make my own, so I settled on painting in the color instead. Oh my god! Uh, I even get like the, uh, the 3D grid and stuff. I'm sure that if you really spend the time learning this program, you can create some amazing stuff. But personally, it did not seem to have many more features than Blender for example, which is free, so I see no point in choosing this if you're just starting out. Blender is maybe the program most people get started with when they learn 3D modeling. The software is free to use, has many premium features and a very capable built-in rendering engine. Blender is the program of choice for me and the one I have been using ever since I got started. So this can be considered a reference for all of the donuts that I do in the rest of the video. Some may consider the Blender community a cult, and except for the fact that we all gather once a year to burn hard drives with Cinema 4D on them and sing in unison, I would say that there's just a lot of passion for this program, and there's also a lot of tutorials and materials to find if you want to get started with it. It's a 10 out of 10 for me, I'm totally not biased. Let's move on. And well, I said I was going to try every software I could get my hands on. Sweaty hands on. This is one of them. 3D Slash is a web-based software that is made to make 3D easy for everyone. Easiest way to create in 3D. The problem is, it's not. Not for anything round at least. The whole idea for the program is that using cubes you can kind of sculpt your model out of different pre-made shapes. So it's like Minecraft. I'm sure if you're a kid and want to try a worse version of Minecraft, this could be an option. But I cannot see how this has any other use cases. The thing is, when everything is made out of cubes, round objects, like a donut for example, it's not very easy to make. Ta-da! Proper masterpiece. Maybe good for kids, I'll stick with Minecraft. Lightwave is a professional 3D software aimed at high-end production workflows. In simpler terms, it does a lot of stuff. The software is split up into three different programs that you install. The modeler, the network render controller and layout. Using the modeler, I tried to model the basic shape of a donut. I mean, not very complicated stuff, you would think. The problem was, the UI felt very confusing to me. And the tools I thought did one thing, did something else completely. That looks terrible. I finally got the basic shape. But after spending almost an hour already, I just gave it a basic color. Donut color. Next, I imported my model into the layout program and tried rendering a scene. I found that this program actually had some easy to use simulation tools and decided to try and make a simple simulation. Oh. Animator was developed by a guy called Steve Glanville as a free 3D modeling and animation software. Yes, this was made by a single man. Imagine being bored one day and deciding to make a new 3D software. What have you done? Considering this was made by a single guy, I could not have the same expectations I would have from other 3D programs. The UI is pretty simple with basic navigation and modeling tools, although I had a very hard time figuring out the most basic tasks. No, this 
This is the navigator. There is a pretty comprehensive documentation of how to use the software, but it does not go into much detail about what buttons to press or what every single setting does. So even after reading most of it, I found it hard to make anything. How do I add objects? After spending a good amount of time trying to model the donut, I gave up and instead just tried to import one I made in Blender. Pretty impressive stuff to be made by one guy, but if you're serious about 3D, there are other free alternatives that would be much better. Clara.io is a cloud-based 3D software that works right out of your browser. It's free and all you have to do is create an account. I guess we're not doing that. Cinema 4D is a complete 3D software with advanced modeling, animation and simulation capabilities. And for some reason this program is always installed on my computer. I've never installed this program on my computer, ever by myself. It just is on my computer and I've uninstalled it, you know, countless times. Uh, Windows is trying to force me to use Cinema 4D. Well, okay, we'll, we'll give it a try. Cinema 4D is famous for its easy to use UI and I could really see the resemblance to Blender, for example. Although I found some features confusing, the basic layout was easy to navigate and I pretty quickly got the basic shape of the donut done. This is the furthest I've come uh, in this little amount of time in any other 3D software. I really enjoyed messing around with this program. There were a lot of features I'd never seen before. Boink, 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 boink. And it was generally a very good experience. Das Studio was a bit confusing at first. The first thing you encounter is the tutorial making you import a questionable female model from the default library. And not any library. This program comes with one of the most comprehensive asset libraries I have ever seen. Most of it is characters and accessories for those characters. I tried to model the donut, but pretty quickly realized there was no way to modify the mesh. Not that I could figure out at least. Clearly, this software is not meant for what I was trying to do, and is probably more for character and scene building. I'm sure it's good for its intended use, but not for me. Well, this looks like shit. Maya is a professional 3D modeling and animation software that has been used by big studios like Disney. You could say it's an industry standard software, and industry standard does not come cheap. I could right away tell that this software had a lot of features and advanced capabilities. But the UI was a bit confusing and it took a while to get used to. Scale tool is R. That makes sense. R for scale. R scale. I got the basic shape done, but it was hard to do anything else. The only thing that really made it somewhat usable was the easy search function that made me not have to go through every single menu to find what I was looking for. No. Nice. I would not recommend this to any beginner, but if you're looking to work at a big animation studio or similar, this may be a good choice. This is obviously a very advanced and capable software. I'm just a dumb dumb. <coughs> Paint. I know what you're thinking. Lucas, paint is not a 3D software. Well, it turns out it is. Hidden in the big void which is my computer, I found a software called Paint 3D. So I just found this on my computer. It seems like uh, this is like the Paint Pro Max 128 gig version. As you can imagine, Paint 3D was not the most advanced 3D software out there, but I was still surprised with its capabilities. I never imagined I could do this in paint. Look at the reflections. That's awesome. It's still just paint though, and you cannot do much more than paint, but in 3D. Although it does have a cool mixed reality feature. Plasticity is a software that has gotten a lot of attention recently, mostly for its hard surface modeling capabilities. Also, it's a one-type purchase software, so you don't have to cry every month because your credit card is held hostage. <clears throat> I have to admit that the UI looks quite modern and sexy, sexy, and I really like the little tutorials it gives every time you use a tool. But I did have a hard time finding the right methods for creating the shapes that I wanted. And without watching any tutorials, I could hardly get anywhere. It's very clear that this is strictly for modeling, as there is no real rendering capabilities or other 3D workflow features. So it may be good if you are a hardcore modeler, but personally, I like to be able to do a little bit of everything. Overall, I like the approach, but I'm not keen on learning a new workflow just for modeling. Metasec... 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 it. This here. This one. I was a bit skeptical at this software at first. I mean, I could not even pronounce it correctly. Metasec... 
Koita, but it totally blew me away. It's not the most nice to look at, but I just got it for some reason. The buttons made sense, the workspace was easy to look at, and it had a damn built-in donut tutorial. There's a built-in donut tutorial. That's what I like to see. The best part is, it's free. Unless you need some more advanced features, that is. Which still is a one-time purchase. It's not the most advanced or high-end, but it's very nice to use. And it's very easy to get started with. I gotta say that this software is so intuitive that I just <laughs> got into it right away. I think I've spent like half an hour on this and haven't said a single word. The rendering capabilities wasn't as nice and advanced as well, but it's very nice for just modeling. Ah! Some people are addicted to drugs, some people are addicted to gambling. I'm addicted to 3D scanning for some reason. 3D scanning is when you use pictures to create a 3D model of a real life object. Polycam is a mobile phone app that uses your phone camera to scan real life objects and convert it to digital 3D objects. And with my donut, I decided to just make a simple scene without anything special except to make it as realistic as possible. Because nothing beats reality to being realistic. Modo is a fully fledged 3D modeling, animation and rendering software made by the same creators as Lightwave. I could right away see the similarities to the programs, although this had a bit more modern feel. It may have been a bit easier to use, but it was still confusing in all of its settings and features. Uh, it's very flat. And features that I thought did one thing, did something else completely, or nothing at all. It's more of a square than a, a, a circle, to be honest. This software also seemed a lot less stable, as it kept doing some wonky stuff. That's not what I'm going for. Kinda cool though. And eventually just crashed on me. I think I killed it. Pretty good, and a lot of advanced features, just extremely hard to learn. Figuro is a free-to-use online hosted 3D modeling software. And honestly, I did not have any high hopes for this. Alright, it's a good start. As the online hosted 3D programs I've tried earlier was not very good. But I was actually happily surprised. As simple as it was, it was still a joy to use. Flip. Flap. Flippity flap. It's not bad, not bad. It's very, very limited in terms of tools, but I mean, it's like a very, very scaled down 3D software. It had the foundation and feel of any good 3D software, but just lacked some of the tools of the big boys. This would be perfect for beginners or children that are just starting out. So when you're talking about 3D software, the game Spore isn't the first thing that comes to mind, right? But this was actually listed on Wikipedia as a 3D modeling and animation software. So we'll just have to try it out. What's the definition of a donut? Is it just a circle with a hole in the middle? Who even decides what's what? Spore is a game where you uh, build characters from Monster Sync? I don't know, I've never played it. Anyway, apparently a donut in this game comes with two legs and a mouth. Perfect. Let's uh, give this puppy uh, a spin. Yeah. Now, you might be thinking, Lucas, that was a lot of 3D software you tried. That must have taken a lot of time. I mean, yeah, yes it was. A good chunk of my adult life. And was it worth it? Absolutely not. If there is anything I have learned from this experience, it is that you should think about the amount of work a video idea will take before you start doing it. Also, 3D programs are really hard to use. They don't make it easy. 
and I will not be switching from Blender anytime soon. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these videos so that I can totally ignore them. And bye!